What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Thank you to Christopher for sending Christopher Crawford sending this one over. Mr. CC sends me some good stuff. And I tell you what, this sounds pretty crazy. We've got this uh, weird looking bathtub shaped piece here sitting on way out in the distance. And I'm going to show you the, the scale back here in a little bit. And also we have what seems to be a very interesting formation over here with uh, some shield looking thing. It's pretty crazy. Let me back you up a little bit. Nothing's crazy for the Mars we find. If you're a new subscriber, um, thank you for joining the team here. I see what I see. You see what you see. That's what I do here. I'm not doing anything scientific. I'm basically just showing you what I see giving you the link to the picture because that's all I always give you the link to these pictures now there's two of these pictures there's this one right here and then the one next to it has the anomaly in it too whatever it is if you're going to call it an anomaly it looks like some sort of shell and it looks like the back is actually symmetrically kind of I'll show you here in a second it's pretty pretty cool there's the one I think it's in this one too right there see that right there so we're going to have both of those linked below I, I always link every single picture and let's go ahead and take a quick look at this thing here, see what we can do. Um, it's a little bit out of the distance, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to pull out, but man, there's a lot of stuff hidden in this junk right here. It's uh, it's amazing, which I can even see the outlines of stuff, st starting with like right here and coming along. Um, what seemed to be an ancient wall of some sort it has all sorts of shapes. And really, when you get into here, the symmetrical shapes and stuff we're going to find are just the geometry alone. Let's uh, go ahead and just start with this. Since, well, you know what? Since we started off with this anomaly, let's take a look here first. And uh, see what we can come up with. You can see what I mean by in the back. Let me make this a little bit bigger here for you guys, too. Let me also give it a little bit of uh, exposure. I want to give it a little bit of gamma. Give it a little exposure. See when you give that gamma up. See the stuff here starts pulling out. And you'll see it even better when I pull it in. Let me see if I can offset it just a tad. With a little bit of exposure. And there we are. Let's see if that will work for me. Alright. So you can see the back here. How it looks like this is just one piece in the front. It almost looks like a boat of some sort. And it comes out here. To the end and it's got this piece there but see how over here also has another one and you it looks like it's behind here because it, it shaded a little bit differently and I'll pull it in you'll be able to see it see how it's shaded lighter um, pretty interesting and then look at this around here the uh, I call it spider webs of Mars you know whatever this stuff is whether it's just a small civilization something's going on it looks like tubing I've tried to mimic this all over Earth with my family. Like a lot of people come here and they'll be like, uh, you know, why don't you go out to Utah and take some pictures? Or Grand Canyon or go out to, uh, you know, Arizona. I've been there. I've taken the pictures. I've tried to see this stuff, you know, and I can't get stuff like this to look on the ground where it's in shapes and strange, you know, patterns and things like that. But up here in this corner, what I was looking at, look here, just before you get over to this thing, there's like a H shape, and then whatever been right here has been kind of just blurred out just a little bit, and I don't know if that's, it's off in the distance, I don't think it, that was actually done on purpose by NASA, but I think we're missing a little bit of some shapes right there. Um, as you pull out, you can kind of see it better, at least on my screen you can. Um, and then you, to the right of it here, you seem to have these little one, two, three, whatever, what do you call them, little balls or pins. And there's something right here that seems to be turned and going into one of them. Um, but what's intriguing to me on this thing is this, the uh, the back piece there, how it's got, it goes like a fin. It's, you know, it's almost like a fin. And then uh, you can see that cross looking thing pretty well right there and pretty defined. Let's come over here and take a look at this. I'm not trying to waste your time, guys. You know how I do it here. Oop. This was pretty... As I'm scrolling through here, I think you guys... my trained the, the trained eyes here will be like, Whoa, I see something. I see something. And as you start getting here is where I start seeing the walls and the patterns. And um, this was probably very ornate at one time before whatever happened on Mars happened. 
I'll just slowly unzoom through here. And there it is. It looks like it's even made out of a different type of stone or different type of uh, rock. But right here is very interesting anomaly we're going to be looking at. And uh, well, first off, let's go ahead and let's adjust the exposure. Just for right now, I'll leave it like that. Okay. Now, this looks like a helmet of some sort. It actually looks like, like one of those old school fire hydrants that's just been buried in the ground. See the perfect circle in the middle of it? But it, it looks like it's definitely attached to this piece. And they look both round because they have that curve. Like if you hold a baseball up in the air and you see it, it's got that 3D look to it. At least it does to me. Sorry, my phone is blowing up there, guys. If you're looking for your iPhone. That's just me. Um, check check some of this like the symmetry in this thing out or the ge the geometry that's the word i'm looking for the way stuff curves and 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 meets up like look at the, this here how it's parallel that it's parallel but look how they're both on like an, an angle of the curve they're both curved it's a parallel curve like it's been designed that way off the chain to me this stuff there's that s again we see everywhere i mean this the, the s is everywhere we look in these pictures um, this is very cool. That, like I said, let's point that out again. I'm looking at this again, and it's almost like it tees off to here. It's like a T, and then it comes around here. And then that thing right there seems to be, that just pulled my eye the first I saw it. So let me pull it back a little bit. Um, I wonder what happens when we get the, uh, just do some auto tone on this whole picture. I haven't done that. I haven't run any of the other stuff on it. You don't get much there. Unless I'm not. Eh, not much there. So let's see adjustment, how brightness contrast. Once again, I'm just drawn right to there. But my eyes also see the stuff up here that's got just the. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Spider webbing of Mars, the whatever the hell that stuff is. Excuse my language. You know, I don't like to curse on my channel. <laughs> Only when it's deserved. But I don't think we've got anything to be getting hidden from us in this picture. I think it's just getting to the point where there's so much stuff. But NASA just cruising by this stuff. It's not even stopping for the cool anomalies. Interesting stuff out there on the horizon. Now let's take a quick look at that other one and pull because it. This is also interesting. That's kind of interesting, too. It looks like a junkyard. This place looks like whatever it was, it was just smashed up together. Now, this is a little bit different perspective of it. Let's take another look at it and see what we come up with. Same deal. You still see that little, uh, like it's got two fins to it. So that wasn't just a trickle light or something like that. It looks manufactured. Ooh, and look at this right here. I didn't see this in the other one. Um, this kind of looks interesting as well. This looks possibly manufactured there's circles in it comes up with lines Let's see if we can't do a little a little something something here to make the world go round dum 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 all right same thing as the other place so you, i can look at this and see 35,000 different things you could do but when you look at it, do you see something like anything you've seen on here on earth and then we can only we can only equate this stuff we've seen on earth here, what looks like a uh, like some sort of rope that's in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It goes up and it's got some things next to it. More and more, just rocks everywhere, just kind of strewn about, like some some sort of cataclysm just took this place out. Hmm, that's interesting. Very dark. That we're on the dark side of the rock, so we really can't see. You know, the sun's on the other side. That kind of looks like a little snake rolling through there. But as I make you guys sick and roll through there, what do you guys think, man? What is this thing? Is this a bathtub? Did we throw up? Are we sending our bathtubs? <laughs> this is a junkyard for us. What's up in the sky at 37? Much love to you. Hope you're enjoying your day. Peace.